Hello everyone, welcome to Mifratech. Today in this section we learn about forest fire prediction project. So in this project we are going to predict a forest fire, whether a forest fire will occur or not and what is the percentage of a forest fire occurring. So here mainly we are going to use the data set which contains mainly three parameters, humidity, temperature and oxygen. So based on those three parameters, finally we are going to predict whether the forest fire will occur or not and what is the percentage of occurring. So here we are going, uh, we are going to use in this project a, a graphical user interface will be developed where uh, you can uh, enter manually the oxygen, temperature and the humidity data and when you uh, click on submit it will going to predict based on the ent your entered values whether the forest fire will occur or not and what is the percentage of fire occurring. So now I will show you how uh, like what what how you are going to run this project. So so now you open and uh, there is an option uh, like option here you can see here terminal just open this terminal and uh, write here python app dot py. So here app.py is the uh, python file which you have to run in order to get the final our output. So just uh, right here python app.py just hit enter. So when I do this one there will be like uh, an HTTP uh, like an URL will be generated that you have you have, uh, you have to you can copy and paste in, the, in any web browser in your system or you can directly click on when you click on that. Uh, URL it will open in a default browser whichever whatever the default browser is there in your system. So here as you can see uh, uh, this like this this some uh, comments will be like you will get these things. So servicing uh, like serving slash cap. So after that all those things will be generated. So here you can see a uh, running on HTTP. So this like this one a uh, URL will be generated. You can see here clearly here. So what you have to do means you can just uh, copy it and paste it in any web browser or just click on this one. So when you click on this one, uh, your uh, like front end GUI will be open in default browser of your system. So now I will show you this has now I have clicked on and it has opened in my default browser. See here, it is loading now. So this is your uh, front end or GUI which have built using uh, slash cap here. As you can see here, here you have to enter those data in order to check the forest fire occurrence. So now, so as you can see here, whatever the title and the, the like buttons those things which I have shown in the HTML file will like look like this finally. So here forest fire prediction this is the title predict the percentage of forest fire occurrence. So here you can uh, enter temperature so temperature in Celsius oxygen in uh, content in ppm humidity will be taken in percentage. So finally you have to click on predict in order to get the output. So now I will enter some data here. So here uh, So based on whatever the data will enter it will going to show the output here. So after entering temperature, oxygen, humidity data just click on predict. So when you click on predict you can see in the output now it is showing. So based on my temperature, uh, oxygen and humidity enter data your forest is safe. So like that it is show the output so based on whatever the prediction it has done and percentage of fire occurring is 1 percentage. We will enter some other data now we will see the output now. So as you can see here, your forest is in danger, percentage of fire occurring is under percent. You can give any data and you can check the output. You can see here, your forest is safe and the percentage of fire occurring is 14 percent. So in this way, uh, you can check uh, directly by giving a real time temperature, oxygen and humidity values and you can click on uh, this predict button and you can get whether the forest is safe or not, is in other, whether the forest is safe or is it, it is in danger and what is the percentage of fire occurring. You can see using this uh, forest fire project, see here it is showing all the, for all the different values whatever you will enter here, you can enter any values here.
and just click on predict you can clearly see in the output what is the percentage of fire occurrence whether the forest is safe or danger those things you can see here so in this way this uh, forest fire project will work as i like i told So in this way you can make use of this forest fire. So thank you for watching the video. Thank you.